Hello everyone, Mrs. Fondra here. And today we're gonna talk about this really fun style of art called pop art. All right, I like popping that pop art, okay? So what is pop art? Uh, it's this style of art that kind of started around the 1950s or 60s, so that's within the last 50 to 70 years from today. So this is a pretty new idea that started and it was based on popular culture, so pop culture. And it made everyday objects uh, into art. So that could be things like advertisements you hear on the radio or see on TV, it could be things you read, books, comic books. Uh, and it kind of made fun of the art world as if you needed to have a fine painting on the wall for it to be art, people said, nope, we're gonna turn most anything into art, all right? And two really famous artists during this time of pop art was Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein. So let's look at some of their art, all right? Andy Warhol was really known for his screen prints. So this is a type of printmaking like we did earlier this year. And he made famous celebrities into art. He made the Coca-Cola bottles into art. Like normally you'd think you'd have a bottle of Coke and it's just a bottle of Coke, but he made it into art. And then he also was really known for his Campbell's soup cans because most people wouldn't think soup is art, but he decided he's making it art, all right? You can see there's so many bright colors in his, pro in his pieces, especially that Marilyn Monroe face, this famous actress from a while back, and those soup cans all are different colors, right? And Roy Lichtenstein was really well known for his comic book style art. So a lot of times before this pop art was a thing, people wouldn't think the drawings and books or illustrations were as much of art as art in a museum. But Roy Lichtenstein said, nope, we're gonna make this really fancy comic book style art, which is really kind of cool. So while we're in this slideshow, I'm gonna show you all the projects we're doing in school for this project, all right? So let's start with kindergarten. We are going to be doing a watercolor or marker uh, of our faces. And if you look up here, hopefully you can see this pretty good. I've printed out every student's face and put four in a row and watercolored over it with some crazy bright colors. So this is an option for kindergarten. And honestly, if you like this project and you're in third, fourth grade, feel free to do it, all right? So this is our kindergarten project, is watercoloring over your face and making it really brightly colored. First grade, they're gonna be doing pop art emojis, all right? So if you look really closely at mine, not all of them are yellow, right? Because we wanna do all sorts of different bright colors. So you're dividing your paper up into four big boxes, so they're squares, or you might have to cut your paper to make it squares trace some circles and make some crazy bright pop art emojis all right there's so many out there i'm sure you could look up some on your parents phone or even online right um our second grade project we are practicing this comic book style where we actually fill in your hand with all these little red dots so you're going to trace your hand fill them with red dots and you can create a background with blue or yellow. I did zigzags. Maybe you want to do stripes. Maybe you want to do polka dots. Um, but the red is only for your hand. So we know that's a little different and will stand out compared to your background. It's okay to use some white too, but we're looking for lots of color because this is pop art after all, right? Third grade has a different project similar to second grade where they are going to pick an automatopoeia word. Pop is an example of that because these are words that sound like what they are. So if you say bam, it kind of sounds like something going bam. Or if you say boom, it sounds like something going boom, right? So here's a really big list. And if you want to pause the video to look over these all, that would be fine. But we're going to be adding our primary colors again, because that's what's really coming with comic book style and putting our really big word right in the middle. And you're welcome to use those little red dots. Um, fill in all of these spaces with lots of color to make it really pop. I picked pop, all right? You can pick whichever other automatopoeia word, right, that you would like. And the fourth graders, they have a very big project this year where they are going to be making uh, drawings by tracing a stent. They'll make one drawing and trace it uh, six times for at least for us, us in class 
on their paper and it can be anything that normally you wouldn't think of as art. So I picked a hamburger because you know, I normally think you're just gonna eat a hamburger, but it could really be anything. Um, like I said, first grade, is, first grade did emojis kind of like this, but I'm looking for something a little bit more complicated for our fourth graders. So it could be some type of food, it could be an animal, it could be a more realistic type of face that you draw, but I'm looking for something a little more challenging for my fourth graders. And all of these projects are probably at least gonna take two weeks. All right, so let me get out of this now that I'm gonna, going through it all. So. Um, if one of these really sparks your attention and it's not for the grade I mentioned, that's okay. If you really feel like doing it or you have the supplies for it, that'd be fine. Um, most of these are done with marker, but if you want to change it to a painting project like our second and third grade, we actually use paint, feel free to use some paint. All right. So, um, whenever you finish this project, like I said, it's going to take us probably two or three weeks in the building because it's a lot of uh, talking about what pop art is and getting into the projects and starting. So it might take us a little while. So whenever you finish your project, if you could turn it into the Seesaw or the Google app, wherever I'm posting this, the Google Classroom, please submit a photo so I can see your awesome pop art. I'm really excited to see what you come up with. All right. So um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you need supplies, if there's anything I can do to help you out, please let me know. And I can't wait to see what you make. It's going to be so great. I love it already. Uh, happy creating.